Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these compass here. So let's go. I already prepared a few things for this. The first thing is this compass itself as you can see with the points of the compass. And this sign here just for decoration, nothing special. And of course we need a widget so right click use interface widget. Let's open this up as you can see. Nothing special. We have this image here where we put the texture of the compass in. We have this text here that's just an arrow to point where we look at and these two decorations. So let's go back to our level here. Right click on the texture, create material. And we select it and put this right here. It will ask you to change this. We do this of course. Compile and save this. Let's go back to the material. Because we have to put the RGB into the final color. And we have to make a few changes here. So first of all, let's go from the UVs and say texture coordinate. Unplug this. We say add. Put this right here. We say make float 2. Connect it with a B here. Go right click on the X and say promote to parameter. Let's call this compass rotation. And as you can see, if we change the default value, the text change as well. Great. So apply and save. We can close this now. And as you can see, it already correct our widget. Of course we have to add up our widget, so let's go to our character, our basic third person character, and we need one more variable that called compass. The compass is of course in compass widget object preference. Compile and save this. Let's go back to our level here, open up the level blueprint, on begin play. We say get player character, cast to our third person character here. Then we want to set the compass widget here. We say create widget. Of course we select the compass. The return value goes into the compass and we want to set it of course. And at the end we go again from the return value and say add to viewport. And that's basically it right here. We can close this now and when we hit play, you can see the compass, but he's not moving. So we have to do this as well. Go back to the third person character and we need one custom event. So add custom event set compass. We take out the follow camera here, say get world rotation, right click split structure pin get the compass here, want to get the compass image, get the dynamic material, connect it right here. We go from the return value and want to set the scalar value. We type in compass rotation. We go from the jaw and say float, defeated by another float. Put this of course to 360 and this will be the value. The last part is we have our mouse input here and just call the function. So we say set compass. And that's it. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. Move the camera and as you can see works pretty good. And there's our compass. And we can see in which direction of the compass we are looking. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.